there. Okay, what yeah. song you want to do now? Okay, so this song, a friend of mine uh, had sent me an email, Painter. Back to the painting. Another painter. Another painter. And uh, she wrote to me to let me know her painting got picked for an exhibit in Switzerland. Well, and so she's not a house painter. No, she's not a house painter. Okay. Yeah, she's a, a, fine, fine, a fine, a fine, a fine, fine, fine art painter. Yeah. And so the uh, the painting was at, uh, impre- impressionistic with two images, a dog and a car. The dog's looking east, the car's looking west. And uh, I liked it. And I wrote back to Anne and said, wow, I love your painting and congratulations on getting picked for this exhibit. Tell me about this dog and this car in the painting. And she wrote back and she said, Billy, that's funny you ask about that because that car is based on a car you used to drive. And I had to go back and look at it. You know, it was impressionistic, so you couldn't tell what make or model it was, but it had a color. And the color was this blue color, and it was definitely the color of a car I used to drive, a 1972 Pontiac Ventura. (laughs) So, pardon me. Okay. Mm. Mm. uh, She asked me about the car. Where where, did you get the car? So I'm writing her an email, and I finish the email, and then I I reread it, and I go... This email is a song. <laughs> and I just plucked lines from the email, right? And, and there it was, right in front of me. I couldn't believe it. And you know what? Now, this is really true. All my, my emails rhyme now. <laughs> because, no. And I, That's funny. Okay. Uh, but um, anyway, my brother and sister really do suffer from memory distortion, but I don't. And so I, I'm, I feel confident that all the, the lines in this song are accurate. This is called Lillian and the Blue Car. She had two sisters. One was younger and one was older. She married Charlie, the war was coming, and nobody told her. They had one year together of loving and no care. Then Charlie went away and never came back to her. She never remarried, she took a job down near the shipyard binding books on a factory line she was kind and always worked hard younger sister had a baby older sister she did too Lillian became Aunt Lil not just one nephew but two she bought a row house in the county just across the city line. She kept a garden, it brought her color, it made her feel a little bit fine. Went to church on every Sunday, the only time she'd drive her car. Took the bus to work each workday, she never went far from home in her blue car in her blue car she liked her hard candy Reb's candy store was just a half a mile away from her she walked down there on Fridays and get a bag of sweets Bring them on home with her. Watched her TV in the evenings, sitting on her day bed. She ate so many sweets, she had every tooth pulled out of her head. She watched the nephews grow up. She had a drawer with sets of teeth that never fit just right. She kept her cash beneath her mattress. And on birthday cards, she never spelled your name right. She got a dog when she turned 80, a little dog, BB, a Shih Tzu. They were always seen together, walking down Elmridge Avenue. She died when she turned 82, and BB died 
the very next day after her. She was laid out at Whitsky's funeral home. Her teeth, they finally fit. And B.B. was buried with her. Her home smelled of the old days when I would visit her at Christmas time. I'm nephew number two, and now her blue car is mine. And now her blue car is mine. Billy Kemp, live in the WLRN studio. Billy, that's just incredible. That's just wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Michael. That's just great. That, uh, is that on an album? It's on Another Life, right that, there. Your latest CD. No, no, The Painter's Bucket is the latest. Oh, that, oh I, have, I yeah. don't have that copy. I'm gonna, we're going to give you one before we leave. Okay. Well, I also uh, want to hear another song, so you have to stick around. We have the business yeah. to do here right no now. You're listening to folk and acoustic <laughs> music right here on 91.3 WLRN and Thank HD1, you. Miami, Fort Lauderdale, 91.5 WKWM and HD1, Marathon, Key West, 90.7 WFLV, HD2, West Palm Beach and 101.9 NPR for the Palm Beaches. My name is Michael Stock. We'll return with Billy camp right after these messages festival of the arts boca will present star wars a new hope with live orchestra gershwin's rhapsody in blue the rollicking band pink martini members of the bolshoi ballet and russian national orchestra miami's new deco ensemble and jazz trumpeter arturo sandoval the authors and ideas series features doris kearns goodwin robert pinsky jeffrey rosen david sanger and a film and expert panel discussion on global